Hey everybody, Jacklist Painting here with another Just the Tips video and today we are covering the Crimson Fists. Very popular Space Marine chapter with an iconic look. Got our guy primed up here and we're going to start off with a thin high angle coat of Titan Blue. This is from Vallejo Mecha Color. It's a very very dark navy blue. You can try to color match this if you want. I believe this is the exact same paint as Dark Prussian Blue from the Model Color line, but they have rebranded it for the Mecha Color line. After that, I'm going to pull out some Dark Gray Blue from Pro Acryl. This is a great color, really nice kind of dark blue-gray. It's more on the blue side, it's got a little bit of a gray content to it. It's a very unique blue color that I like a lot and it'll get us that very very dark navy blue color scheme for the crimson fists and what i'm doing here is simply focusing the high areas of the model doing some spot highlights and then focusing the center lines of his limbs to give us a ton of contrast so our very very dark almost black shadows are showing through and then on the center lines of his limbs and the spots like his shoulder pads and his knee pads and the top of his helmet are getting popped with that highlight of dark gray blue. And then finally, I'm going to pull out some pants blue from Pro Acryl. It's a fun name. This is a nice kind of light primary blue. And I'm just going to do some simple spot highlights on some of the main areas of the model. You can see me hitting the tops of the shoulder pads, the helmet, these little parts on his backpack. Again, going to focus the center lines of his limbs leaving breaks in the airbrushing where his joints are and where big areas of contrast need to be. So that way we maintain that very high amount of contrast to get us that striking crimson fists blue and all of our shadows are still very dark. Next, we're gonna focus on the Crimson Fists part of the Crimson Fist paint scheme. I've got some heavy red from Vallejo Extra Opaque. This is a great line for doing base coats. And this heavy red is a nice kind of dark burnt red. And I'm just gonna block in his hands. And I believe the little ring around the wrist is also painted for Crimson Fist, which gives them kind of a red glove kind of look for their armor. And I'm just going to get a solid base coat of that on both of his hands and go from there. Next, I'm going to get some bold pyrrole red is a very nice bright fire engine red it's really going to make these hands pop out on the table and i'm going to highlight the heavy red with this new more primary red color leaving a little bit of the paint thin in the recesses and in the shadowed areas so i'm putting on very thin coats and building up those coats on the highlight areas of his gloves so that the darker recesses uh, are still dark and you can see those details of course that'll get accentuated when you put a wash on the model but I just want this basic red color to be very bright and vibrant for right now and then I'm gonna do all of the joint pieces and his tactical gear in a matte black I'm using black from model color and you can use whatever black paint you want I have three different ones that I use a lot I just pulled this one uh, off of the shelf for this project and i like the black rubber look for all the joints for loyalist space marines especially on armor that has nice vibrant colors and it gives really really nice hard color separation making the contrast pop out more for those airbrush breakups that we do and here he is this is the color scheme Pretty much done in of course there are some other colors that need to get base coated like his purity seals you need to do some metallics for his gun and the little gold emblem on his chest but this is the just the tip series we only focus on the color schemes so after this
put a wash on your model, get some clean edge highlights on there, and he'll be ready for the table. Hope you guys enjoyed this. More just the tips to come for more color schemes soon. Catch you next time.